Hi, my name's Rolf Shea, personal trainer here at Surge Health and Fitness. Today I'm going to be discussing and explaining why stretching is an important and beneficial part of every workout. Firstly, why should we stretch our muscles? As you age, every time you train, your muscles tighten and shorten. Therefore, range of motion in the joints can be minimised. This can make even the simplest everyday tasks seem even more difficult than they should be. As well as making you feel good and improving flexibility, a regular stretching program can help lengthen your muscles and make everyday activities easier. Stretching increases blood circulation throughout the entire body, not to mention increasing your range of motion to your limbs and therefore reducing risk of injury. Today I'm going to be talking about two different types of stretching, static and dynamic. Both of these stretches in combination with each other is the best way to experience the maximum benefits of stretching for your entire body. So what's the difference between static stretch and a dynamic stretch? Well a static stretch is a stretch that is held stationary for a period of time, usually 10 to 20 seconds. A dynamic stretch is a, is a movement stretch using motion measured with repetition range and used to maximise your range of motion. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate static stretching for two different muscle groups. Today I've chosen shoulders and hamstring stretches. Okay, using my forearm against the straight arm just above the elbow, I'm going to pull my arm into my chest, ensuring that this arm is nice and relaxed. I can feel that pulling in the delts. Okay, moving on to the next static stretch, hamstrings. Okay, I'm going to bend my left leg while straightening my right, reaching down from my toes, and again I can feel that pulling in my hamstrings here. Again you would hold that stretch for 10 to 20 seconds and repeat on the other side. I'm now going to show you the dynamic way to stretch these muscle groups. Okay, shoulders and chest are both being stretched here. You'll see swimmers using this one before a big meet. And again, you would do this 10 to 20 repetitions and try to get a little bit further each time. Moving on to the next stretch for the hamstrings, I'll, I'll show you this a dynamic stretch for your hamstrings. We're going to do a straight leg lift up to head height to start with and getting a little bit further each time until you feel comfortable to take it all the way. Okay, there you have it. Dynamic and static stretches explained. We should all try to incorporate stretching into our everyday training routine to stay flexible. Because remember, remember what they say, if you don't use it, you lose it. Thanks for listening to Serge's Facebook tip for the week. If you have any questions on stretching or anything at all, please don't hesitate to talk to myself or any of the friendly staff. Thanks and have a nice day.